Uh, my name is Mark Sonoda. I'm uh, in product management and like product development at Ameritech. Um, we did a similar talk last uh, nanite, so we, I didn't want to repeat everything that, that we did, so we're not going to go over the architecture and, and the general layout. Uh, for those that don't actually know, um, it, it's, a, it's an ATM exchange point uh, with a full mesh of UBR PVCs uh, clustered in, in, in three switches, in, unlike uh, Pac Bell, which has to be distributed. We got everything just in in a, in a single location. Um, we we do a, a similar slide just about uh, uh, every talk to kind of uh, use the same metrics to uh, measure ourselves. And we currently got about 90 customers, 10 10 more in various stages of uh, installation uh, uh, or, or pre-sales activity. Uh, we 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 still have a, a pretty constant run rate of, of new customers, uh, uh, about two two a month one every two weeks. It really hasn't slowed down at all over the past uh, couple years or so. Uh, as far as uh, volume, we're at about uh, 2.1 2 gig. Uh, it was 1.8 at, at the last NADOC, so that's actually a, a, a pretty big jump for just a few months. And uh, from what we can tell, the, the biggest driver for that has been uh, people that are either upgrading to OC12 or uh, uh, upgrades from DS3s to OC3s, where they're going from a saturated DS3 to uh, to an OC3 and, and right away going right up to you know uh, 50, 60, 70 uh, meg right off the bat. So I think that's where we're seeing that from. Uh, the uh, the big news is the uh, migration that we talked about at the last talk that we finally, uh, after a couple of false starts, got done uh, a week and a half ago, uh, last Sunday, May 16th. Uh, we uh, we migrated off of the old Lucent Club V2000 onto a, uh, an Ascend network of uh, GX550s and CBX500s. Um, it was not a trivial task. We had to do a, a few things at once because uh, one switch was in one room and the new switches were in another room, so we had to move you know, some other transmission equipment around to, to get this all done in, in, in one window so we didn't have to go back and, and rearrange things later. So uh, we already had some customers moved over, and we had, we had a lot of new customers that we've been adding to the Ascent switches since the beginning of the year. So we had a total of about 71 customers that we had to move over to the new switch. Uh, we moved an OC48 full of OC3s from one room to another, and then we, we individually moved 16 DS3s uh, onto a new OC48 system. So everything's lined up in, 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 in one room, uh, and, and uh, we, we shouldn't have to do any more rearrangements for that. It, I think it's worth mentioning that the GlowView that we used was in service for pretty for a little bit over five years, actually. Uh, uh, we, we had some, some early stuff on it before. It was actually called a NAP switch in, in October 94. And uh, overall, it was pretty reliable. We only had one major outage across the, the whole five-year period. We had a few minor ones, but uh, generally, it, it was really, really stable, and uh, we were pretty happy with the way uh, it performed during the time we were using it. Um, we probably could have used it a little bit longer, but it didn't support OC12, and, and it, was, it would have been a pretty painful uh, uh, upgrade. So uh, we, we went to the Ascend platform. Uh, what that's buying us right away is, is uh, the OC12 uh, demand that, 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 that we've been seeing. Uh, signaling support, uh, SVCs, uh, uh, which we might be doing with some of our RNE customers, uh, NPLS, which we're going to have to be ready for uh, in, in probably next year, like, like Steve had, had mentioned that he'll probably be doing too, and uh, improved uh, SNMP support, uh, better stats than, than we've been able to do so far. I'll, I'll talk about that in, in a couple minutes. Uh, this is kind of just a list of uh, uh, new customers or customers that are uh, just about to connect. Um, one of the reasons that we've still had the steady growth is that we don't have to have ISPs. We've got StarTap, uh, which is an NSF program for international connections for research education. We've got Internet2, Abilene, BBNS, and, and other uh, government-related stuff, too. So uh, all that stuff combined together is, is, is contributing to, to the growth that we've had. Uh, what's next? Uh, enhanced switch-based reporting. Now we've got a new platform. We've got availability of a lot better SNMP statistics. The, uh, the SNMP proxy agent we were using on the Lucent switch had been broken for quite a long time. And it wasn't even responding to all the polls, and, and it wasn't necessarily all that accurate, and it was, we, we really couldn't do much with it. So we're planning on being able to offer per PVC stats uh, via secure web connection to customers. I'm hoping that'll turn out to be a good engineering tool, at least in addition to what you might already have. And we're, we're going to go back to the aggregate uh, daily graphing that we have been doing, probably with some type of an MRTG type presentation. Uh, we had a boss at the last, and I, uh, I'm sure a few of you uh, probably were, were there, and uh, it, the discussion was the uh, address renumbering. And we, we took the, the comments that we got back from everybody and, and tried to address all the concerns. And 
uh, after a, a, a lot of discussion, we decided to go ahead with this renumbering with new space that we got uh, designated just for the exchange point. One of the concerns was that we didn't want to carve something out of some American super block that could get swallowed up by, by some large entity and force everybody to renumber again. So we've got new space just for the exchange point. It's going to be managed by Merit, uh, which is another concern people had about Ameritech doing that. Uh, we've got a target set of June 27th to uh, uh, actually we're going to have like a window set up for, for folks to renumber and uh, 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 Merit is, is also going to uh, do the uh, ROT server reconfiguration work at the same time. We're, we're going to be getting more, uh, more specific details out to everybody either via email or, or uh, on our website so you can uh, uh, expect to hear more, more about that later. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is the contact information. Uh, uh, Annie Schmidt is, is a, the focal point now for, for sales. Technical, uh, Kevin, uh, me, uh, and uh, that's the website where we're going to have uh, uh, all the info. That's it.